Sponsored by WinWing Technologies. Once again, another bright idea that balances versatility and realism. Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. We've had asked, can SU-27 flankers, MiG-29As and SU-25 Frogfoot, so kind of 80s Soviet Cold War aircraft, if they couldn't operate from their runways for some reason, could they operate from roads, road farps, road bases, and or improvise grass airstrips? They will not be related to any real life air force, it's just a generic test and it's going to be educational and it's going to be some fun. We'll try the flanker first, we'll try rearming here at this FARP on this modified road. We'll then try taking off from a road, so what's happened is everything in this trigger area here of about a mile, we've erased the scenery, they've chopped down the trees, they've removed the barriers and lamp posts and stuff on the road so it's suitable for aircraft to land and take off. We're going to see if we can take off on this stretch of road here which is about 0 0.8 miles and then can we land on that same road if we can. We've also cleared this area here and it's just grass. Can we take off from this grass? Can we land on the grass? And then we'll repeat the exercise for the MiG-29A and the Su-25. When taking off, we'll be fully loaded with fuel or loaded to a mission level and fully loaded with weapons. When we land, we'll be low fuel, but we will still have our weapons. Imagine that we'd come back from a strike, but we hadn't actually used our weapons. A worst case scenario, should we say. Predictions. Oh, we've got RC. He say hello, RC. Hello. Which do you think can operate fully from a road? Which do you think can operate fully from the grass? I think they can all operate from the road. I think potentially it can all operate from the grass as long as DCS cooperates. Roger. I should say all of these 80s Soviet-era doctrine aircraft are designed to take off from rough strips. They all have rough landing gear. They all have anti-FOD, foreign object debris engine protection. They also all have parachutes, so they can all land in a relatively short amount of time compared to their NATO equivalents. We'll start with the flanker standby. Welcome in, valued viewers. I hope you can hear me over this absolute mess of noise. So this is a massive four-lane motorway. This Jeep is representing a average-sized hatchback, I guess. And the first thing I wanted to do was show you one of the problems in operating from a road is the enormous size of the aircraft. That there is an SU-27 flanker. Look at the size of it compared to my Jeep and these guys here. And the road, that's a big motorway right there. Can you see me, RC? Yep. The plane actually hangs over the side of a massive four lane motorway or highway, I guess you guys call them. So that's the first issue. Okay, I'll see the first thing we're gonna do is take off. I'm not expecting any problems. Like I said, they're rugged. Uh, Russian landing gear and FOD protection, so we're not going to suck up any squirrels. Off you go when you're ready. Look at the size of them. I cannot get over the size of these SU-27s. I've seen these a couple of times in real life in riot air shows. Got to be careful what I say, but yeah, they are unbelievably big. Whoa. Oh, I left the Jeep there. What happened? Ah. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. Great. <laughs> I thought it would disappear. I'll move it. I'll move it. <laughs> yeah, I... <laughs> not, not supposed to be laughing at this one, are we? <laughs> yeah, this is a fun right, one. Oh, good. God, I've got a headache already now. Right, I'm moving it. Right. Right, when you're ready, RC, should we... Um, that way we'll cut that out. Here we go. I don't want to embarrass my GR brand. Too late. Yep. God, your wings almost clip that tent, you know. Look at RC's rudder control. Tell he used to be a pilot. Look at that. Go on, RC. That bump's nasty, isn't it? Yeah, that's not bad. Up, right. right. That was easy. That was easy. We had excellent. Uh, st we had excellent rudder and steering control on this jet. FOD protection. Heavy duty tyres. Right, RC, we're just going to spin around in circles and pretend that we're doing a mission just to burn off fuel. Welcome back. We've simulated a mission. Um, we're going to do a worst case landing scenario. That is, we've burnt our fuel off, or most of it. We've just got a ton of fuel left. But we've still got full ordnance on. So we're heavy, big, heavy flankers. Are you following me, Ian? Or... Uh, you go ahead. I'm, I'm out right. here a ways. I'm going to land on the road from the bridge side. There it is over there. 
our zone is mar marked out by the, the uh, cones just to help us find the yeah obviously you wouldn't do that in real life but flaps are down check air brake out gear is in transit and locked let's go also valley viewers complaining complaining about me zooming in at the moment i couldn't fly without zooming in rc i don't know about you it's a lovely aircraft to fly i always always such a good aircraft to fly i'm terrible in combat with it but it's a real, it's a real pilot's aircraft. This is. All right, here we go. I'll see. I'm going to touch down about 300. Cut. Right. Maintain the rudder control. Maintain the rudder control. Right. No panicking. Nothing weird. Just chill. Just chill. Come in. I didn't even right. need. I didn't even need um, parachute. I will use my parachute, but. I could have done it easily without power. Oh, that's fine. No, there we go. Look, look at that. Right. I did that without wheel brakes, as it turns out, because I was actually pressing toe brakes value just. Of course, this aircraft doesn't even have toe brakes. It has a handbrake. Yeah, it does. So I did that without braking. Okay, I'll see. In you we trust. Oh, that was beautiful. That was so beautifully timed. Right, just keep it steady. Just worry about steadiness, and that's all you need for the rest of the time. When you're ready, get those, uh, get that parachute out, get those wheel brakes on. RC has that Midas touch. P for parachute. Didn't need it. Look at that. Out. No, but you didn't need it anyway, so whatever. Now, in real life, uh, we wouldn't be able to turn around. In fact, let me just show you. Uh, we don't have the turning circle to turn on a road. They would have to get a, a dolly out, a truck out to, you know, turn us around. You see, just, you know, you need space to turn around. So we're going to get turned around, we're going to get refueled up from the base, and next we're going to try taking off from the grass. Okay, I'll see this is going to be a bit weird, but please go off onto the grass. On the right, it's flat. You'll have to go past the tents. Yeah. I can probably get through them. Where's my hand? There's my handbrake. Right, I found it. After a while, I don't know about you guys at home, but after you've learnt 40 or so aircraft, I just can't remember them anymore. I just press the wrong buttons all the time. You're not allowed to use the train track either, that's cheating. Right, I'm pretty much going down to the coast. Well, good news, first thing. Are though. you going to go all the way down there? A little bit down. I'm going to go past the, tra the railway. I'm just going to go right here. Turning around. Watch that vehicle that I've accidentally put there. That was a NATO vehicle as well. That's awkward. You first. And I'm stuck. Really? Really, I'll see. Yep. Well, I'm not, so I'm going to take off. I'll see you later. You must have kept rolling. Yeah, if you stop in the grass, you will get stuck. Don't do it. Look at look at me doing this, Valley 2. I'm actually doing it. Flanker, best aircraft. I'm doing it. Yes! Did you see me there, I'll say? Well, you, you try it, you try it again. I had no yeah, problems there, by the way. No, I stopped, and if you stop, DCS will stick you. Okay, well, that's the DCS problem, man, he's fixing that stupid. Yeah. Look, I'll see, here he goes. Right, a lot of aft stick to stop your front thingy digging in. And otherwise, the just the power of the 50,000 pounds of thrust. Look at that. That's majestic. You know what? I'm impressed. And they could probably do that in real life. You've got massive tyres on this thing. Massive heavy duty tyres for exactly this kind of thing. Don't you know, try that in F-15? No. F-16? No. Probably even F-18? No. Flanker? Yes. I'm chuffed with that, oh, guys. My gear broken, though. My front gear. Yeah, mine are broken as well. Well, maybe. That's a fair point. Right, we've got to burn our fuel off because we would only land with low fuel. So keep your stores on, burn your fuel off. We'll report back in a minute. Welcome back, valued viewers. We're down to a ton of fuel. We've still got our stores on. I'm going to try and land in the grass. See if we can get our broken gear out. Yep, the gear are coming out, I see. Yeah. And the flaps are still working. Right, here we go. Now, I'm going to try and land differently to normal valued viewers. I'm not going to land like a jet. I'm going to try and land like a warbird. I'm going to literally stall it into the runway because I want to get my landing speed, my, my longitudinal speed, as low as possible. That's the theory anyway. Flaps gear, air brake check. Right, watch this. All bad landing. Probably going to bump my nozzles. I'm slightly worried about that. I'm going to land at 200. Look at that. Wow, I did it. Are you down? I'm down and safe. Blanca operates perfectly from grass. Russian strong aeroplane. Right, I landed at 
a touchdown at 200 because my least skill was last week. 200? Yep. Yeah. You may want to not do that, by the way. Oh, so that's flares. I'm not on fire if that's what you think. Alright. Stall it into the ground, baby. Stall it into the ground. Nice. Parachute, 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 parachute. Oh, I'll see. Hey, I didn't do it. I was just rolling, so it just was the uh Perhaps the serviceable airframe. Right, well yeah. we sort of sort of, you know, landed on the grass. A few more practice it's a attempts. Pot -pot. Right, next we're gonna go on to the fulcrum, stand by. We're now in the fulcrum A's, much smaller aircraft, or relatively smaller aircraft, but also much harder to fly. Uh you gotta be a real boss to fly this properly. Okay, RC, um good luck I suppose. It just wants to go. It does, doesn't it? It's horrible. I think I bust my landing gear, but never mind. Screw it. Okay, we're up. Flaps up. Gear up. Check the state of my aircraft. Good. Strong Russian design. Welcome back. We've done our patrol. We've still got all our heavy weapons on, but we are only half a ton of fuel right now, so. Try landing on the road. Okay, here we go. So, 400 clicks. Flaps check, gear check. 390. Okay, speed's okay. Come on, bleed that speed. Bleed that speed, little mig. Plenty of angle of attack. Seat up. Double, triple check gear. Flaps are good. Right, that's my stall point there, so let's just. Cut. Keep the nose up, keep the nose up, keep the nose up, keep the nose up, keep the nose up. Aero brake, aero brake, and let the nose down. Bit of a jump here, so be careful. Running out of room, so let's get the parachute out. Yes, I'll say yes, 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 yes. So I touched down, where's the braking? There it is. I touched down at about 310, 320. That's the key. Yeah. Where I'm at right now. Yeah, it comes smoky, smoky in the bandit. All right, keep that wheel up. Keep the front wheel up. Yep. Because it'll bounce you otherwise, it'll kill you. Once you're kind of 280 parachute and wheel brake, and you're done. Nice work. I'll see you. Nice work. Oof. It's hard. That's hard. Right. Um, again, the plane's pretty much designed to do that. So, right, let's get turned around, let's get fueled up, and let's go on the grass. I am not hopeful for this. The reason is it's such a delicate. Wow, RC just went for it. Look at that. RC massive Got balls. Gotta just go. Massive balls. All right, here we go. We've got a bit of half step, but not too much. Because if you smack those nozzles, you ruin the plane. Up. Wow. Fair play. Fair play to RC. How's your gear? About that? Uh, broken, I think. Check mine. Nope, it's up. Wow. Right. Uh, that was easy. I'm going to go and burn some fuel off. Mission complete. Worst case landing. Oops. Where's the air brake in here? There it is. Air brake. Right. I'm just going to do my usual thing of stalling it into the warbird, stall it into the ground. It's the best way I can think of landing. Little tip, valued viewers. Get your seat position up like that when you're coming in for a high alpha landing in something. Just helps your visibility. Presumably, probably what a real pilot would do. Having your seat too low killed a lot of people in San Diego years ago. Mm -hmm. if the pilot had added seat higher, he would have seen the plane that was yep. in front of him. Visibility, that would be important, obviously. Right, double check, triple check, everything's checked. And I go for my landing. Right. right. Where are you? Because I'm, I'm almost there. I'm a mile ahead of you, so don't worry. Okay. Right, I'm stalling it into the ground. Now oh, I see you. Yes! Come on. Ah, oh, oh. It just wouldn't stop. Ah, oh, I couldn't do it. it. There's definitely... Oh! I did everything I could there. I landed at 240. 240. You can't land a bolt from less than that. There's potholes. Yeah. Hit a divot. 
Come on. Power oh, no. <laughs> no oh, chance. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to happen. I was 250. Uh, we took off fine, but grass not so much, right? Yeah. Frogfoot. Frogfoot. We've got FOD defense, we've got big chunky tires, big beefed up suspension, but what we don't have in this thing is power. We've got a couple of RD, whatever they are, uh, no power at all in this thing compared to the jets we've been flying. So it means they take a long time to take off, and I'm not confident in this at all. Uh, that is all. Take off when ready, RC. Great plane, lovely plane, just... I don't think we're going to do very well in this. Also, note how uh, narrow the gear are. Narrow gear, like an F-16, means instability in landing, takeoff. Right, where's the speedo? Where's the speedo, RC? There it is. Okay, airborne. Up. Okay, no problem at all, obviously. Right, I'm going to go and uh, do my mission. Welcome back, we've done our mission. I've just got a third of a ton of fuel left, but here's the problem with a frog. Look at those stores. Tons and tons of stores. And I doubt you'd be able to jetson them in real life unless it was an absolute emergency. So I've got to land with that lot on my aircraft. How many tons of stuff is that? Right, mental note, RC, this does not slow down either, so uh, get all the drag you can in it, especially with all these stores. I assume you've spotted the speedo already. Yeah. Speedo is. You know where the speedo is, I'll see. Yeah. Right. You don't need me to hold your hand through that part then. No, I'm good. Remember, Thanks, seat no. up. Just remember San Diego. Although this probably won't ride at a very high angle of attack. Big straight wings, I suspect. Not. Right. Flaps down. Gear down. Oh, God. It just ballooned as soon as I put this flaps down. Okay, landing flaps down. Gear down and checked. Speed is good. I'm going to touch down about 280, I think, if I can. Right, all is well. Come on, frog. Oh, we wish you uh -oh. the best. Don't crash. Don't you dare. I got a little slow. I got a little slow, but I'm alright. I got saved it. Good. <laughs> we do not have permission to crash these valuable airframes, I see. I'm going to bump this. I'm going to bump this. Oh, I'm okay. I flared just in time. Look at that. That was actually not too bad. Right, where's the brake in this? Is that the No, it's Russian. It's got a handbrake. Oh, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. No, I've got it. Wow, it is unstable, RC. You are not going to like this. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh! <laughs> right. Get the back of the aircraft carrier. Right. Go on. Let's bring it in again, RC. Oh, wait. Uh, you got a little too slow. Don't do that. Weird noise coming from my jet. Okay, I think I found a bug. Get it on the Sorry. list, boys. Get it on the list. Right. We're waiting for you. Okay, here comes the venerable Get loss. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'll say I'll cut that out. I do not want to damage the brand, so... That is Come funny. on. Third time lucky. Okay, here she comes. Look at those big, bouncy tyres. Uh... I'll see... Yeah. Check the exterior of your aircraft. In fact, don't. This okay. is going to be funny as hell. Do I want my gear not down? You're just going to land and see what happens. Oh. I see my, I see on my display my nose gear is down. Right, well, you've got to land it anyway. Yeah. That's an RC challenge, I'm afraid. You land this, oh, you get a pay rise. Perfect. Don't stall it, RC. Don't stall it. You oh, know you have a history of doing this. Here it goes. Stalling. Come on. Just gotta get it over that right. Sink it. Right. Or just sink right because it bounces. Nice, nice. Keep the gear up, keep the nose up, keep the nose up all the way to the end. Steer it. No, oh, how's gonna do it? Ugh. Um P, parachute, 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 parachute. Freaking RC the hero lands with no nose gear. I think we'll have to cut you out because you're gonna get too much credit and too many of the girlies from that. <laughs> Uh. Fair enough, guys. Right, we're going to do the last one. Grass. I, can't see, I cannot see this going very well, if I'm honest. Because we're so heavy. We're carrying so much ordnance compared to those other aircraft. Right, when you're ready. It's got smaller front gear, I think, so it would dig in. So just, just... Just do good. That's what I'm saying. Just do good. Oh. Oh, I see he's nearly dead already. 
destroyed a soldier. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. Right, well, you'll be writing to his mother, because I'm not doing it. Should we go? Oh, on speed. Go. Right, plenty of half stick. You're not going to tail strike one of these. Oh. Oh my god! <laughs> what happened there? I need another I try. Mine just flipped. Yeah, mine did too. I'm going to do what I did with the SU-20 and go over the railway. I'm, also, I'm going to open the canopy. I need to feel the. I need to feel where the wind is, like on the Richtofen. Okay, keep that going. Yep, here we go. You just got to keep it straight. No, no steering at all. Or something. Uh oh, I've got no steering. I've got no steering. I'm going to die. I'm going to die horribly. Miserable way to Where die. Oh, I'm in the sea. Oh my <laughs> god. I'm not supposed to be laughing on this, but look at that. I'm look look at my body, I'll see. I'll see you're not looking. I'll I see. I can't see. I'm, I'm taking off right now. Oh, I see. <laughs> Go on, I'll see. Go on, I'll see. Tree, there's a tree. Pull, pull back on the stick, not forward. I am. Oh. I am. I am right. pulling back. <laughs> right, now come and look at my body. I'm sinking. Oh. I'm going under, I'll see. <laughs> there that aluminium are. weighs more than uh, water. Look at that new sink routine they've added in. How about that? Right. So, SU-27, we managed to take off and land on road easy, super easy. It's just got a great control, and it's stable. Grass, I managed to take off. No, we both took off, didn't we? And then I yeah. landed okay, but I had a bit of a wing moment, but we survived it. So, it's just the most stable, rugged platform. Fulcrum, both of us could do the what road. Is that? Fulcrum, both. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Arcee. Fulcrum, both of us could do road pretty easily. Grass, we took off, but landing, zero chance. It's too bouncy. It's not rugged enough. It's not stable enough. It just can't do it. Uh, SU-25 actually did the road really easily. I'm surprised about that. Apart from RC, obviously, kept crashing into the bridge for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we'll cut that out. And then, but uh, grass, nothing. Nothing. It won't, it won't do it. It digs in, digs its front gear in. It just won't, you know, I ended up sinking. Oh, look at my wings are there. Um, that's science for you, valued viewers. Uh, anything you want to add, I'll see you on the topic. Nope, that's it. Okay, bye-bye.